going on guys welcome back to another video my name is to your so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can make the best roblox thumbnails for your youtube videos so if you're planning to start your youtube channel or even if you already did this video is going to help you a lot so one of the reasons why i'm making this video is a lot of you guys really really like our thumbnails and a lot of you guys have been asking us how we do it so yeah i'm gonna be showing you guys all the tips and tricks secrets techniques and pretty much everything you need to know in this video so real quick before we begin if you guys haven't yet subscribed hit that red subscribe button with all notifications turned on it's free and we post epic roblox videos and live streams every single week which you guys probably don't want to miss also leave a like on the video so more people can see this and we really do appreciate it all right guys so getting started i think it is important for you guys to know what we use for making thumbnails so yeah we use photop for making our thumbnails also known as photop.com so yes guys it is a website and it's free and other than that it kind of looks like photoshop like if i put some pictures on screen right now side by side of photoshop and photop you can barely see the differences so yeah let's get started with making the thumbnail so all you gotta do to open photop is literally just type in photop dot com in your browser and uh, google chrome so once you've opened photop this is what you're gonna see this is what it's gonna look like so all you gotta do from here is just press new project or click new project i'm sorry about that and then go to name right here and then just name project whatever you want so i'm just gonna name this um thumbnail um test the width should be 1280 and then the height should be 720 and then the background should be transparent white. and then if you see this thing called dpi just leave that alone and then just press create and you should be good to go all right so now that we are in photo p now we are good to go we just have to do the first step so the first step is actually put our background how do you actually put backgrounds in your thumbnails okay so there are two methods and the first method is actually just look it up on Google and uh, copy and paste it. So all you got to do to copy and paste, let's go ahead and copy it on the internet and then just go over here to edit and then head over to paste. But what if it is from your computer? So all you got to do is go to file, go to open place. And I actually have a background right here. Let me just find it real quick there we go guys let's say you want to move this background around or you want to like size the background all you got to do is go to edit right here and then you go to free transform and then now that you have free transform right here all you got to do is just size it up you can also move it around like this and then there we go so what we usually do after this is go to filter and then go to distort then we're gonna go to spherize so we usually do this when there is like a flat background especially for grass backgrounds so now we're going to enhance the color of the background all right so what we usually do next here on the background is go to filter we're gonna go to blur and then we're gonna make a gaussian blur so we're just going to adjust this to where we want so can just copy mine if you want to 0.8 and then next thing we're gonna do we're gonna go to image we're gonna go to adjustments we're gonna go to brightness and contrast or exposure so i highly prefer doing exposure first okay um the next thing is going to be um hue saturation saturate the image of course that is um, it's already saturated so I'm not going to saturate it more alright so the next thing we're gonna do is put the border you can go search up the thumbnail border and you should see a couple of stuff like rainbow borders you can see like transparent borders right there uh, and a lot of stuff maybe even anime zoom thingies if you want to so for the sake of this video I'm not going to put a thumbnail border because I think it doesn't really fit all right, so there we go. Uh, we have our Roblox avatar right here. So let's just say we want our Roblox avatar to be right there, all right? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to image. We're gonna go to adjustments, and then we're just gonna do a little bit of the exposure, just a little bit of the exposure. 
I think 0.200 is going to be the go to and, and then we're going to do a little bit of the saturation as well. So I think 30 is going to be good and then image adjustments um vibrance so this is actually going to make your character more vibrant so as you guys can see it looks a whole lot better let's do a little bit of brightness all right so now that we have that we're gonna do a little bit of more adjustments to the layer double click the layer right here and then you're going to uh head over to the layer styles panel um let's say you want a stroke so this is stroke let me just uh do the color real quick let's say you want your color to be like that size it up real quick let's say you want your uh, thumbnail to look like that like that is the ideal like thumbnail style but at least what we usually do is put a drop shadow like if I'm not talking about this drop shadow right here but I'm actually talking about a white drop shadow and if you guys don't know that I'm just gonna demonstrate that right now so all I'm gonna do is go to blend mode and this is multiply by default so I'm just gonna make this normal and then we're gonna set this to white and then press ok and then as you guys can see there distance is gonna go a little bit right here so i think that is a good uh a good thumbnail right there and uh another thing we do is outer glow so there are a lot of ways you can do outer glows so one way is to just go to blend mode overlay i'm gonna put this to normal so mine looks like that you can also do a black one so why not you can also do that if you want to so i'm just gonna do a uh, nice white outer glow so another thing we really recommend you guys doing is put a sunburst on your background why not so um i have one right here so obviously if you um download the sunburst it doesn't look really nice so what you're gonna do to make this you know pop up is go to blending options when to go to blend mode make this uh make this overlay so i guess you guys can see it right now obviously and then go to color overlay and then we're gonna change the color so as you guys can see that is red by default so let's make this um, let's make this white it it, it looks better it, it looks a, uh, it looks way better guys so now we're just gonna do free transform and then we're just gonna drag it right here and we're going to drag the layer um, maybe over here all right so one of the last things we do in our thumbnail is our text so there are a lot of things there are a lot of things you can do to make your text look better so um, I'm just gonna show you guys the basic text so all you got to do is just press this little T right here so that stands for text of course and then now you're gonna go to here and then you're going to um, search up a font you want so I'm just going to use Burbank big now I'm just gonna go to size and then I'm just going to get the size to 150 pixels and then I'm just gonna move that right here and then I'm just gonna type in you know what um, Roblox uh, video ideas alright so Roblox video ideas obviously black is not really a good color so all we gonna do now is we're gonna go here So now that you're done in your thumbnail, all you gotta do now is you're gonna go to file, you're gonna go to export as and then PNG. So all I'm gonna do now is click save. There you go guys, you have made your thumbnail. You have made the best thumbnail ever. So uh, there you go guys, now that you have your thumbnail, I'm just gonna open it real quick and uh, boom, there you go guys. Thumbnail, finished, done, easy. So yeah guys that would be it for this video so if you guys haven't yet subscribed make sure to hit that red subscribe button and leave a like in the video if you enjoyed. So until next time it's TubeDRP thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Stay tuned.